In this six minute video, I'll be doing a quick overview of how to effectively use Dragon Naturally Speaking with a WordPress post. Start Microsoft Word. Three killer tools for online business success. Cap that. Carbonite. Make that a heading. Carbonite has given me the security of knowing that I don't have to worry about detailed backups all the time. Period. Carbonite covers 99% of most all the files I need to be concerned with. Period. I do regular large archives every few months with great tools like Kobe and Backup. Period. However, to know that my system is always backed up to the cloud 24 slash 7 gives me the peace of mind that I need to know that my information is safe. Period. New paragraph. Dragon naturally speaking. Make that a heading. New paragraph. Dragon has taken my productivity to a whole new level, exclamation point. It's like adding a whole new sensing mechanism to my computer's input. No longer am I restricted to just keyboard and mouse, but now my microphone becomes an extremely powerful tool that is powered by my voice, period. Being able to dictate software faster than I can write has helped me to expedite my workflow to levels I could have never achieved without Dragon, exclamation point. Select Expedite. Bold that. Set it to red. End of line. New paragraph. Email chimp. Make it a heading. Correct champ. New paragraph. Everyone knows that an email list is one of the backbones of staying in contact with all your sources, period. With email chimp, I'm able to manage all my correspondence in an extremely easy, comma, clean, and highly functional email management system, period. EmailChimp is one of the few email marketing services that actually let you sign up for free. It also has great connectivity built into and around WordPress, the world's most popular blogging platform, period. Okay, so there are some mistakes here, and that's fine. I mean, that's just going to happen with any typical typing. One thing I'd like to make note of, though, is that Dragon is actually a lot more s specific or detailed than when I actually talk. I've actually gone back through some of my videos and realized that I didn't even speak proper English. It's, it's almost like I need to join Toastmasters or something. But anyways, let me go ahead and clean this up real quick, and we'll continue on. All right, so that took a second to edit, but I have a nice clean doc here. Now I just want to run through real quick how you can use Dragon to just grab some content from the internet real quick. So let's run through this. Search the web for Carbonite. So let's just grab some content here. Okay, let's finalize this section here with a quick image. Let's find something here. No, I don't like that. Yes, right here. So we're just going to grab this little guy right here just to snazz things up. Jump back here. We're going to throw this guy in. We'll make him look a little bit prettier. Jump back here, center him. And so that's it for this particular section. I won't bore you with uh, more formatting and stuff, but it just goes to show you how you can interact with Dragon and, and move through things. So let me finish up this doc and I'll get back to you. All right, so I'm back here. I went ahead and grabbed some images and just filled in the content of the rest of this article just to give it some body. And I've already posted it to my local server. So let's just jump out here and see uh, three killer tools for online business success. And here it is, you know, posted in here. And um, of course, I'm never going to post an article this cheesy to life in the grid, mainly because I like to create super solid content. And and the purpose of this particular demo is to try to get across to you and show you how easily and effectively Dragon helps uh, to create content. I've used Dragon on 99% of all the posts that I've written, and it's actually quite amazing how much more productive I am with the software when I'm, when I'm not even trying to demo it. So as you can see, the process is pretty simple, and you can really crank through these posts. Another huge benefit for me is that I don't have to worry about spending so much time with my arms held up at the keyboard. 
since I have struggled with tendonitis in the past, being able to move my arms back and forth instead of keeping them in the same stiff position all the time has helped me to struggle less with tendonitis. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Now I was going to demonstrate how to do uh, multiple comments and reply to those, but I have some other videos out there that show you how to reply to multiple emails and the same concept pretty much applies there. So if you have good ideas or questions, please engage our community at lifeinthegrid.com. Thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like to watch more videos like this, then click on our subscribe channels at YouTube.